I don't have time to chat right now. With that oblivion gate looming outside the city walls, we're bracing for an attack. Perhaps we can speak later. My first responsibility is to the people of Chadenhall. They look to me for protection in these dark times. With an open oblivion gate just outside our walls, I cannot risk weakening Chadenhall's defenses, even for such a worthy cause. You too. You may speak. I'd advise you to keep your distance from that accursed portal. Haven't you heard about these gates to oblivion opening up all over Tamriel? Well, then you know what they're capable of producing, although nothing has come through ever since Farwell entered. About two days ago, Count Indaris' son, Farwell, entered the oblivion gate with six other men. We haven't heard from them since then. The Count fears the worst, and has posted guards here so we can watch and see if anyone comes back out. And so far, nothing. At this point, Count Indaris is offering a reward for the recovery of his son from inside the gate, or confirmed news of his demise. If you find him, or the rest of the Knights of the Thorn, get them out of there. I'm sure the Count would also be pleased if the gate was closed. New to these parts, eh? The Knights of the Thorn are a bunch of rabble who fancy themselves true knights. Farwheel formed the group around two years ago. They make grand boasts and talk a good talk, but that's all they are. The real work goes to us, the City Guard. I hate to speak ill of them, as something horrible may have happened. But their own bravado got them into this mess. It's tolerated because Farwheel is the Count's son, plain and simple. He has the power and the coin to put it all together. Most of the time, they lounge around the tavern drinking and making up stories of epic battles with impossible odds that they won. It's all garbage. They never patrol. They never help fight off the occasional bandit that slips into the city. Ah, oh, well, I've said too much already. Count Indoris has ordered us to hold our positions until Fairwill returns from inside that accursed Oblivion Gate. There are seven of them, including Farwill. Even though they're a nuisance, I still hope they haven't been hurt. Or worse. Farwill is a Dunmer, and he's wearing steel plate armor. His shield should bear the crest of the knights. <laughs> Nothing but the best for the Count's son. Brash child. Now look what he's gotten himself into.
suppose you'll do. It's about time someone got here. What took you so long? We are knights sworn to uphold the laws of Chadenhall. We fear no being, and we strike fast and true as lightning. Many wish to join our ranks, as we are of the highest echelon. Only a select few may join the finest force ever to grace the lands of Cyrodiil. Until now, we numbered only seven, but attacked like a regiment. Our enemies quake at our approach and falter at our charge. Huzzah! I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them, but they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! Are you mad? A Knight of the Thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Now, in my father's name as Count Indorus of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. I suggest the Raymond Sweep formation. You'll assault and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward! Huzzah! The sigil stone for this Oblivion Gate is the key. As soon as we have it, we shall rid Chadenhall of its existence. The path is yours. Lead on. Even if Farwell doesn't say it, we appreciate that you're here. Don't judge Farwell too harshly. Most of what he says is fabricated. But he's young and therefore quite brash and inexperienced. All he wants to do is please his father. I've known him since he was a lad, and fighting to defend Chaden Hall is in his heart. I just wish his heart was bigger than his hubris. I'm sure you wish to hear the real story, rather than Farwell's version. Not long after the gate opened, Farwell decided an assault was in order. We charged inside and promptly met resistance. Three of us were cut down in the first wave. We pressed on at Farwell's behest. At the base of the Citadel, we met a larger second wave of foes. We lost two more in that skirmish, as well as Farwell and I being wounded badly. It was at this point we considered retreat. We found the way back blocked by more Daedra, so we were stuck here until rescued by you. It's just like Farwell to leap before he looks. Had we brought a City Watch contingent, we might have taken the Sigil Stone with minimal losses. Instead, Farwell wanted to prove his point. The City Watch and the Knights of the Thorn are always at odds. They think we don't have what it takes, and Farwell wanted to show them. Perhaps we're all to blame, but that's not important right now. We must complete our journey and get that stone. Please, help us. Let's keep moving.
the park what? when you fall down and you me down! 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 We made it! Uh, I mean, victory is ours once again. Huzzah! You've done well. I wouldn't have expected such bravery from someone who isn't a Knight of the Thorn. Now that this battle between good and evil has been won, and the day is ours, you should go speak with my father. He will reward you greatly for escorting me home and closing the Oblivion Gate. Since you have led us to victory, I am hereby giving you the honorary title of a Knight of the Thorn. Your name shall be revered, and your deeds placed into song, to be performed by the greatest bards for generations to come. Congratulations. As a Knight of the Thorn, you are now expected to carry this symbol of your knighthood. Carry it proudly, and wear it well. No more will the gate threaten the good people of Chadenhall. The Knights of the Thorn have triumphed once more. Make sure you address the Count properly. Thank you for getting me out of that cursed place. Perhaps in the future, Farwell will learn patience and careful planning for dragging us into a situation like that again. The gate has been closed. Finally, thanks to you, the Knights have a real victory on their hands. You should hasten to Castle Chadenhall.
What do you want? Goodbye. I'm pleased to finally meet the savior of Chadenhall. I'm also overjoyed that you saved my son's life. I realize he's trying at times, and he speaks before he thinks. But he's still my son, and I adore him greatly. I'm sure he was difficult to travel with, and I respect your patience. Most would have given him up for dead, rather than deal with his ego. Anyway, I digress. I'm sure you wish to hear of your reward. I'm in possession of two fine weapons. They're both heirlooms of the Indaris family, held in the castle for several generations. I'd take great pleasure in bestowing one of them upon you. Please, choose the Thornblade or the Staff of Indaris. The Thornblade it is. Again, I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Chadenhall, and I especially thank you as an elated father. Farewell. And may R.K. guide you. I will not forget your service to me and to Chadenhall. Rescuing my son from the Oblivion Gate was a daring feat. With the Oblivion Gate closed, I can now gladly send aid to Bruma. Even though he may be a bit misguided, I'm still proud to call him my son. I think if you had the chance to speak to any of the knights... They were happy to follow Farwill into battle. I'll be having a very long talk with my impetuous son. I don't blame him directly for their deaths, but he must learn to do things the proper way. He must realize he'll be ruling Chadenhall one day. That's a responsibility I aim to make him ready for. Just look around. Is not Chadenhall the model of civic rule? No, no, don't bow. I am just a humble servant of the people. The head of the Elder Council and a trusted servant of the Empire. No one is better suited to guide us through these troubled times. Be seeing you. I'm sure you hear it all the time, but I'd like to thank you personally for closing that Oblivion Gate outside Shadenhall. We were all expecting to become the next Kavat, you know. With the Count worrying more about his son than the defense of the city, things were looking pretty grim. So like I said, thanks. I'm glad I was able to come here and do my bit for our side, you know. Take your time. For me, thank you. How kind. For me, thank. Thank you. How kind. Please. Is it always this cold up here? This weather would freeze the arse off an ogre. Certainly. It, that will get you something. Take care. I ought to. So long. I can't stay long. Count Caro's orders were to return to Leowin as soon as Bruma was safe. Orc named Mazoga says she's a knight. <laughs> I doubt it. The Count wants it looked into. Why don't you talk to him? The Count appears for audiences in the county hall near the throne weekdays between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Tell me more. That every little bit helps. Take you forward. 
Remember Kavach. That's our watchword. We won't let that happen here. <laughs> Don't worry. For you, of course. Take care. I look forward to fighting these Daedra side by side with the hero of Kavach. Tell me more. Every little bit helps. Bye. I avoid those things whenever I can. I always wanted to see the Gerald Mountains. Beautiful, aren't they? Almost makes you forget why we're here. Please. The cities of Cyrodiil are finally rallying together to make a stand against the Oblivion invasion. I'm starting to think we might actually beat these bastards. Good day. The Mythic Dawn won't dare try anything now that the best soldiers in Cyrodiil are defending Bruma. Goodbye. We won't let those Daedra take Bruma. Farewell.